This is George from My Tech Legion. Noctua has come out with a new line of CPU coolers, the NHL 9. I do say it's a line, though it is one single piece available in two variations, the NHL 9i and the NHL 9a. The difference being, of course, i is for Intel, a being for AMD processors. The only difference between the two lies in the mounting kit itself, as we see. Uh, the Intel is set up for uh, Intel 1155 and 1156, whereas the AMD piece is set up for FM1, FM2, and AM3. These are very low profile coolers, 37 millimeters tall for HTPC use. They are not recommended to use on processors above 65 watts. Uh, there is a stip, uh, stipulation in Noctua's recommendation. You can use it with the higher wattage 77 to 95 watt Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge. They do recommend on Ivy Bridge turning turbo off and in both cases using a good case with good ventilation. But taking a look at the unit itself, as you can see, very, very small unit, only 37 millimeters tall. Uh, that's going to be a big deal in an HTPC case especially, where regularly we see clearance of only 50 millimeters. Um, going on, we've got aluminum fins, copper cooling block, and two copper heat pipes running through the heat fins. As you can see on the top, you've got your heat pipes sticking out right at the top. Um, very nice plate with the Noctua logo on both sides. Fan itself, 90 millimeter. Slim fan, only 14 millimeters uh, in height. But it is capable of over 57 CFM while producing only uh, around 25 dB of noise. Using the low noise adapter, that's going to knock that down under 15 dBA. So very, very quiet for an HTPC application. The other big concern uh, using it on a mini ITX board, obviously, is going to be the fact that it's very small, not going to block the first PCI slot. Also, it's not going to inhibit any memory whatsoever, as your memory is going to sit off to the side of it. It doesn't overhang the memory in any way, shape, or form. Getting a look at the individual components, start, of course, with the fan. 90 millimeter fan, do have cuts into the blades themselves, which are going to aid in keeping noise down, as well as moving a little bit more air. Very slim fan, 14 millimeters, and of course adorned in all the standard Noctua beige and brown color scheme. Taking a look at the heatsink itself, looking through, you can clearly see two U-shaped heat pipes coming off the contact block inside of the aluminum fin array. Very, very nice contact block. It is copper, nickel plated as you can see, and this being the Intel, has the Intel mounting kit pre-installed onto the uh, cooling tower itself. Getting a look at the accessories. Start up top, we find the installation manual. As always with Noctua, nicely laid out. A lot of pictures. Very, very installation on this piece, as we'll see. Knock to a badge, a tube of NTH1 thermal compound, not quite a full tube, but more than enough for a couple of applications, low noise adapter, which will knock the fan down to 1800 RPM, and knock the uh, noise down to under 15 dB. So it's going to be virtually silent inside of a case, obviously. And finally, the entire mounting kit consists of four thumb screws. Installation is about as simple as you can get. As you can see, you've got the four mounting points on the back. Literally goes into place on the motherboard. From the back of the motherboard, thumb screw goes in, screws into place, and holds it in place. That is the entire installation. Uh, installation on this piece should only take about a minute um, to do the actual install. Obviously taking apart your case is going to you know, be a little bit more involved depending on what you have. Installed in the case, as you can see, the NHL 9 has a very small footprint, taking only uh, the Intel CPU socket area uh, so it will not interfere with any other components. As you can see, all four RAM slots completely unimpeded. On an ITX board, your first PCI slot is actually going to be here. 
and is not going to block the PCI slot in any way. It'll run just underneath the RAM. So it's not going to impede on any other impo uh, components. And once again, only 37 millimeters in height, as you can see, barely extends beyond the RAM uh, and barely beyond any of the motherboard components. In an HTPC case with only 50 millimeters of clearance, you're going to have plenty of room to run the NHL 9. The NHL 9 is a very well thought through piece from Noctua. Um, perfect piece for any type of HTPC usage. Once again, 65 watt CPU and under is what is recommended. Can be used with a 77 or 95 watt um, Ivy Bridge or Sandy Bridge, provided you have very good ventilation and very good case to go with it. Uh, the, fat, the small form factor of it, 37 millimeters tall, is going to fit into just about any HTPC case, and the actual footprint of the unit is not going to impede with the first PCI slot on an ITX board and will never impede with RAM. So very well thought out uh, piece from Noctua. Again, two heat pipes, copper uh, cooling block, Copper heat pipes, nickel plated with an aluminum thin array, 90 millimeter fan at 2500 RPM, but still under 25 dBA, perfect for HTPC use.